Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're learning how to flash firmware. The Max comes with a bit of a hiccup. If the firmware is slightly too old, this has a lovely habit of going so far and then throwing a tantrum, completely shutting everything down. After doing some Googling, I've found what should be the potential fixes. Speaking of fixes, before you can update any of your firmware, what you have to do is get what's called a fix packet. And all of that is, again, free off of Elgu's website. So how to do that is you take your USB, when the machine is off, you put your USB in with the fix packet, turn it on, it does its little thing, it'll update this to just a slightly newer version, and then you can turn this on, new USB in, come to your settings about machine and then hit that little arrow there and you can do your software update. You can find the firmware that you need by going to Elgu, going to their download center, selecting which printer that you need, and going to your newest versions. In that download pack that it's going to give you, it's going to give you everything that you need for your fix pack, your firmware pack, and your screen firmware as well. Something you have to do is once you update your firmware for the main machine, oh my gosh, gimme, yeesh. Once you've updated your firmware, you have to update this. And that takes a little bit of work. So with this disconnected, we're going to take not the hammer, the Allen wrench that they supplied, and we're going to crack this open. In order to update this guy, you need one of these. Come on. You need one of these. And you need it completely blank. So in the download program set, you've got screen firmware. You're just going to take and copy that over to the root. Now. I didn't know what the root was. I'm technic. I, I grew up in the 90s. Bear with me. If there's nothing, come on. If there's nothing past this, this is what's called the root. You want to send all of your firmware to the root of the USB. So now this is ready to go in here. You got your little slot there. You're just going to go boop. See? It clips in. And now you're ready to put this back on. Once you've got that card in, you can put the back on. Just do one or two screws for a moment. You're going to plug it back to the power source and you're going to power it on. Bear with it for a moment. It's going to do its little system update and then you can check on the status of the screen. Now we can check the settings. About machine. We've got new updates here. And now we can crack back into that card, pull it back out, reassemble fully and then we will have to re-level. So after going all to your main points and doing your quick check, re-level, and you should be good to go. And there we go. With everything back up and running, I guess we'll find out in about two hours because it seems like that's when that would happen. We'll find out to see if that little update did the trick.